Hello children, welcome to Edurev. In this video, we are going to continue our learning of the chapter Fun with Numbers. Let's begin the video. Let's see what this image says. One day match between India and South Africa in Guwahati and India is batting first. Let's see what the commentators are saying. Dhoni on 96, only one ball left. Will he complete his century? And look at this. What a marvelous six. So, from this commentator, we get the data that Dhoni scored 96 runs. And in the end, he scored a marvelous six. That is, he scored six runs more. So, 96 plus 6 is equal to 102 runs. The commentator here says, has he completed his century? And the answer to this question is yes. Since the number 102 is greater than the number 100, we can say that Dhoni has successfully completed his century. So, Dhoni scored how many runs? 96 runs there were initially and he scored 6 runs more. The total runs will be 102. Dhoni scored 102 runs in total. Let's solve this question now. How many runs do these players need to complete a century? Now, how many runs player 1 needs to complete a century? Keep in mind, a century is 100. So, 100 minus 93 will be equal to 7. Player 1 needs 7 more runs to complete a century. That is 7 more runs to make this number 100. Hence, the answer to this is 7. Player 2 needs how many runs to complete a century? 100 minus 97 is equal to 3. A century is 100. So, player 2 needs 3 more runs to complete a century. Player 3 needs how many runs to complete a century? 100 minus 89 is equal to 11. So, player 3 needs 11 more runs to complete a century. That is, to complete 100 runs, player 3 uh, needs 11 runs more. How many runs player 4 needs? 100 minus 99 is equal to 1. Player 4 needs just 1 run to complete a century. Okay. Let's continue with another question. We need to fill in the blanks. After 99, we go like this. 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, etc. So, Let's try this, fill in the blanks. Number in figures is 99. Number in words is 99. 100, 100, 101, 101, 102. What can be written here? The answer will be 102. Again, 103, 104, what can be written here? The answer will be 105. Again, 106. What can be written here? 107. And what can be written here? 108 in numbers. Right. What can be written here? 111. After 111, what comes? After 111, 112 comes. 195, 196, 197, 198, 199. And in figures, what we write? We write 199. Okay? 200, 201. Uh, in figures, what we will be writing? What comes after 201? After 201, 202 comes. And in number, in words, we can write it as 202. Now, 203. In words, what we will write here? 204. Then, here, what will we write? 206 in words. 
okay children that was all for this video we will solve more questions in the next video you can check out this course of mathematic class 3 in edura infinity and you can solve various tests documents and videos by going on this chapter of fun with numbers in this course thank you so much